Hello and welcome to a new video about my load cell thing here. Well, the load cell worked pretty well, I would say. Surprisingly well last time. And now I want to replace my Uno yeah, with this one, an ESP32. Yeah, because, you know, if it's wireless, if it's Wi-Fi enabled, then it's Wi-Fi enabled. And it can also have Bluetooth and so on. So we could bring our measured value somehow better to the world. And I want to try it. I want to try it out the result. The issue is what I fear, what I don't know, but what I fear. Here we have 5 volt logic. Here we have 3 to 3 volt logic. This board here, yeah, this can only, this has only one input. Yeah. So also this bridge, the analog side of our thing, yeah, is working instead of 5 volt with 3 to 3 volt. So this means at the same load, I would not observe that many, that, that high output voltage from, from the bridge, yeah, from the Wheatstone bridge inside there. Yeah. If I only supply it with half of the voltage, also the output voltage at the same stress level will be half. And I am now not at 5 volt, I'm at 3 to 3 volt. And this means also the output voltage of my bridge is lowered in the same case. However, just because I put in a lower voltage does not mean this ADC on there is working any better. So it can only detect certain voltage levels and those voltage levels will be the same. So we will see a different behavior. And the question for me now is, is this good enough, right? Is this good enough or not? This, a, this is not a fault of the IC here. The IC would even have inputs, separate inputs for logic level and for supplying the bridge. So there would be, it would, would just be okay if we have a second connector uh, where we can power supply the logic of the chip uh, and separately the, the voltage to supply the bridge, then I would say this is no issue. There are even boards out there which do it like that, which use the, this, this functionality of this IC on there. Yeah? However, this board does not support it. I only have a single voltage in. Yeah? Yeah. All right, now let's try. Let's try. Maybe it's sufficient. Yeah? I don't like it anyway. Huh? Because, ah, for me, it would be nice to have. <sighs> I want always to have a better. It's just one connector and one line there. Huh? But probably cheaper. VCC, voltage, ground, voltage you put on red, ground I put on brown. Okay, then we have clock. Clock I will use yellow and data I will use orange. Come on! Oh, sure, helps. And now I have to, to use pins here, so ground, black one is ground, a black, brown one is ground, this needs to go to the 3 volt pin, this is here, and which pins I need for, for data I said is yellow, right? No clock is yellow, data is, and I will use, I don't know, 16, 16 for data, 16 for clock, 17 for data. All right. All right. And then plug it into the computer. Change my program. Well, the only thing I expect them to change is that we just select another board. Just select another board type. I hope. Oh, well, see, switch to computer. Okay, well, well, actually, I think I 
I think what I just have to do is that I'm using this slowly in 32. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. And this should work. This, this program is very, very, you know, not that. Ah. Also, what do I need to have here? Haha. Uh -huh. I don't know anymore. What is the first one? It's digital and then clock. And digital, we said, is digital data is orange and orange is 17, 16 and 17. Digital data, clock. All right. Okay. There, there was more than just selecting this. Try to upload this and see what it is happening. I remember that this here uh, was 525 grams. Right? This is what I remember. Uh, so I will use this as reference weight. Because I honestly think this calibration factor, this somehow is reflecting this uh, voltage change. Yeah? So we would need then a different calibration factor. Pretty sure. Then I also, ah, I will try. So, okay, uploading. Because I think maybe we don't have to calibrate, just... <sighs> I show you afterwards what I mean. Upload process finished. Starting upload cell. I added for Okay, zero. It's zero. And then I put this on. Hey! I'm surprised. I am. You see me surprised again. Yeah? This is working as before. This is working as before. Try to accuracy. Reset here. Of course, I don't have now a glass of water with me. Ah. I have a bottle of water. And I can spare some drips. <laughs> Come on. Sufficient, more than sufficient. Ooh, okay, now I have wet trousers. Okay, so let's reset this once more. That we have zero. What's the is? Reset, set reset. Zero. Okay, one, add one drop of water. Also working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's the same value. All right, so all my fears were just thinking. I am really surprised by this little thing. Taking account into the price, taking account the price of this thing, I must say. All right, all right, all right. Good, so this also works with the ESP32 and it seems like equally accurate. All right, okay, yeah. I accept. But since this is that accurate, yeah, I really wonder how accurate this thing is. The only 100 gram part. Yeah. This little, this little, this little thing here, yeah, I wonder it's just 100 grams. It's not 
it's not like this one kilogram so i will try this in next video so i will try to come up with a meaningful solution to use this 100 grams because you know 100 grams are not very much and i want to come up with a solution that i somehow can balance the the, the load uh, which is already there so if i put on an empty glass for instance then i have already wasted some grams of my scale uh, 0 to 100 i want to come up with a solution for that yeah in the next video so that we then really can use the 0 to 100 grams just for for not 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 tar but just for the content just for the thing we really want to know yeah but, yeah we'll see yeah the next video we're going to try this little thing here 100 gram load sensor for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye